Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have the first blank, which is good. But do I have a bingo? It feels close, but two pairs of duplicates. So maybe I don't. I'm going to have eights and sevens in mind. Hopefully opponent plays something. I think there's more likely to be an eight than a seven. Not seen anything so far. I've got the geo prefix. Still nothing. No scoring tiles, so... Ah, opponent's changed. Such a shame. So I'm just looking for sevens now. No, not seeing anything. Ology is an ending. Zuglii through an A. Okay, so what to do here? Do I change or do I play? So if I play, I think I play goo. Eight points. I'm going to change. And I'll keep EL blank. Great. Well, I definitely will be bingoing now. And I think I'm going to bingo whether opponent changes or whether he plays. This rack is just too flexible to be denied. So for a seven, I'd be looking to get the C doubled. And opponent plays, so the best lane is column five as a double-double, and C goes well with H. So, do I have something? I'm going to go through the alphabet again. This rack plus an H. Not seen anything so far. And it could be two four-letter words rather than a standard suffix. Ecclesia through a C. Wow, these racks look so close. But I haven't seen anything so far. Shoelace. Well, that gets doubled once, but not twice. Pleaches. Wow, that's so, again, very close. The H in a slightly awkward position. Leeches. Aha, uh -huh. leeches. Slight doubt about this, but it certainly gets doubled twice if it's good. And it is 98 points. Fantastic. So, three minutes spent before any points scored, but I think they were three minutes well spent. Now, I have the Z, which is a good scoring tile. Rons is good, which would sort the rack out. No super hot Z spots at the moment. AZ not good. ZA is. Right, ah, now there is a Z spot in row C, but do I have a five letter Z word beginning with Z? I don't think I do. Do I have, well, just wondering about any play which gets the Z doubled twice. I guess I have ZO. Nowhere great for Rons. There's row C, but that's sticking an R in the middle of column one, which is pretty handy. I'd like to split up the duplicate R, but it's not essential. 
What about column eight? Not seeing anything there. So, what to do? Really reluctant to play ZO, the rack leave is just too clunky. I guess I can play Rons here. 28 points with a good rack leave. Or I could play Riz for 35 with an OK rack leave. Riz only takes a G, and that's the only value I'm offering opponent. I am going with this. And I draw the second blank. So pretty good rack. Should be bingoing again. Now, no, wow, well, there's a triple, triple lane. Row A, I'm not optimistic I have anything, but I think a vowel would go in first place. A, E, I, O, U, and I'm not seeing anything. No double, double lanes. So what about triple word squares? Well, column one, I guess, is the, the hottest spot. Wow, O can't go next to the L, so it has to have an E in that spot, or the blank. So, what do I have? Duplicate N, slightly problematic. Nothing goes in front of V, so do I have any N, E words? And I partly want to go here because if I don't, then I think this is the lane that provides opponent the most scoring potential. Let me just consider what what I have here. Al is good. Not seeing a seven with that rack. Now, ah, well... I think I can stop looking because I have Dendron and nothing's going to score more than that. Wow, well, has, <clears throat> has the X plane played? It hasn't. So slightly risky there, but there are scoring spots all over the board, including an X spot next to the A. So I'm going with this. Wow, well, pretty grim, but seven random tiles. It happens. And I do have a decent lead. I could play mid G, which would sort the rack out, but for a very low score. I'd like to play off two I's. So what about column eight through this N? I have the ING ending. Not seeing, seeing anything. What about taking out uh, 32 for opponent? He takes out the triple, triple lane. That's fine. Through a T, I would have tired, but no T's at all have been played yet. Through an R, I would have irid, but for a very low score. No G's for Gidgey. Wow. Very slim pickings here. I have Guillen. Keeping, well, keeping not the worst rack leave in the world, slightly vulnerable to vowels, but only 15 points. Surely I can do better. G and D don't go well together. Well, what about Ida? 17 points, keeping G double I. Doesn't feel great. Can I get value from the Z? Zag is good. 26 points, keeping triplicate I. Wow, I feel that the, the racks so far have been quite, quite tricky. 
What about if I threw the W? Wow, Widgie's good, but that doesn't work. D-Ice is good. Indie is good. Reggie is good. E-G-I-E. Wow, just really struggling with this rack. I have the e -G -E -D ending. Well, what about playing midgy down here? How terrible is this? I next to a double letter square isn't the worst. Midgy does take an S, I think. Yeah, this leaves the best rack leave. I'm going with this. And, well, more vowels. But I have the J as a good scoring tile, and J-A-I is good, and then the rack leave of A-E-I-S, although vowel heavy is a pretty good rack leave. I have Jean in column 8, but that does keep duplicate I. I have J-A-I and Joe for a handy score. Will opponent be drawn to the bottom of the board? This is the most available triple word square and holds out the potential of a tile being doubled. So I'm hoping that opponent will leave this J-A-I spot alone. But what if he doesn't? Do I have an alternative spot? No, I'm going to have to play something different. I have jibe for a reasonable score, but that's keeping double A. But the duplicate tile is only a five point demerit. So if you can score more than five points, it's worth retaining the duplicate tile on your rack. Now, adji is the anagram of Jai, and that would actually be bet a better play in row C. The I, a less dangerous tile than the A underneath this triple letter square, and it would score more. And Adji plays at the bottom of column eight as well. Great, so that's pretty much sorted out my play. I've spent a lot of time on my earlier moves, so if I can play some moves a little faster, that will help with, with time management. Still two S's to come. Both blanks have been played. Any other edgy spots I've overlooked? Now, opponents played 27 points. Oh, wow. Adjis is good, but OA isn't. I think, that, I think that's the only long J play I've got. So, Adji for 37. Pretty bingo -y. Slightly hampered by two, or a lot hampered by two scoring tiles in the F and the H, which don't go well together. So, I don't think I do have a bingo. But I have Faith in column two for about 50 points. And opponent's gone there for 50. But it does mean he's left alone the bottom of the board. Is there a way of getting the H and the F under the O of Pronto and either under the second O or on this triple letter square? Faith doesn't quite work because OT not good. I have, well, I don't have Fiesta. I have Feist. So what if, what if I had an H in that spot? No. So the F is the least bingoy of the two. This scores 41 points, which is pretty good. Yeah, I am... Wow, look at this. The H could go above the I of Adji. 
but I can't see a way of playing the F as well. And I would like to. This is still a wide open board and I have an E and an S, so I'd like to get rid of my non-bingoy tiles. I'm going with this. Am I? Am I? I have fish with A, T, E. Let me put this back. Do I really not have a, a, a bingo here? So date fish. Gosh, close to red shift. I do have that, but with a surplus A. Nothing with the G. I think Womp takes an H, or it could be Woomp, which does. And there's a floating T of Pronto. On Well, through a C, I would have a bingo. Well, I could be missing something, but Faith for 41 isn't terrible. So, is there a bingo here? Certainly all bingo tiles. There may not be a 7. I lead by a 100. But a wide open board, 30 tiles to come. A bingo would put opponent right back in the game. And if I can't bingo, then I'm going to struggle to score with this rack. 32 for opponent. Do I have a bingo through the A? Serenid is good. Does that have an anagram? Maybe it has an easy anagram. Drainers. Oh, wow, that just misses. So there's an E. I think re-rinsed is good. I think that there may not be a bingo here. Something about this letter pattern doesn't doesn't feel great. I'm not seeing a seven, and that would be super high probability. No A for Serenid. Albino takes an S. Nothing ending H. And this is a really tricky spot because I am going to struggle to score. So do I wreck the rack? I could do this. Diner, still five E's to come. 27 points. Maintains the 100 point lead. 27 is quite a handy score. No hooks for ZA on my rack. Six minutes on my clock, that's not very much. Ah, oh, well, I, I do have a bingo through the G. I'm sure all of you have spotted this. Quite an easy word, therefore pretty easy for me to miss, but I do have grinders for 70. And my reward for spotting that, that bingo is seven consonants. But am I far enough ahead to survive? I lead by 140. All, well, a lot of big scoring consonants. So if there is an available vowel on the board, I could score well. So I have Bork in row F, B-A-W-K. That makes inroads into this rack. What about the bottom of column eight? EW is good, so I have walk for a decent score. And the pennant's played, three, he's played three vowels, so he has the opposite problem to me. Let me see what this scores. This is 35, keeping very non bingo rack. This is 21. Wow, I'm sacrificing 14 points just to burn one more tile, but it's a pretty ugly tile in the B. 16 tiles left, 13 vowels, wow, hardly any consonants, maybe I've miscounted, 13 out of 23 are vowels, okay, so what about an alternative to Bork and what?
Nothing better available at the bottom of column eight. What about the top? Not seeing anything. What about a vertical play in column six? That's no good. So where else are there vowels? Nowhere. Well, there's, there's this E. But I can't see anything better than playing off just two tiles. I am minded to go for the score here. There are two vowels in the open, so even if I draw two consonants, I will be playing. And this is a big score. Walk for 35. I draw two consonants. So, what do I have through this A? And, well, I have fab, but it would be nice to play off more consonants. Oh, now, look at this I spot. There's a, the Q out there and several U's. This is a 100-point lane in row B. Gosh. Should I be doing something about that? Well, opponent played AUA last term, which suggests he didn't have a Q at that point, but he may have drawn it. 14 points for opponent, that's good. Albino takes an S. So what I could do is play Fist, or Fisk would be better, for 26 points, taking out that super hot Q spot, and I think that is the right thing to do. I draw the Q, of course, but I have a, a U with it, so I may be able to score. Still light on vowels. I have, oh, I was going to say I have Queen, but I don't have the N. So I don't think I do have a play in column 12. Through a Y, I would have Q byte. Nine tiles in the bag, three minutes on my clock. And I have a pretty handy lead. Wow, fantastic bingo for opponent, 62 points. But surely it's too late for him. Two tiles in the bag and he trails by over 100. And look at this, I have a quag for 72. Fantastic. And I draw some vowels. I smash through the 500 point mark. Wow, opponent not too far off from having back to back bingos, but I think he's run out of lanes on the board and in any event would not score enough. So if he if he isn't going out, what am I going to do? I have debt in column 15. That's pretty handy. Nothing great in column eight. What about row M? Doff is good. Nope, not seeing anything there. I have Teed underneath Grinders. Wow, I was so close to missing that. Twenty-eight for opponent, and well, is he going out with a double -E -R? He has fear, which means I think debt is probably a good thing to do. It takes out that possibility. Does he have a four-letter play? Not sure he does, but I think debt definitely takes out the fear threat. And is a decent score. Just looking to see if a opponent's got Aren in column 10. Where has he played? Eared. Okay, good spot. 
and the final score, 359 for opponent, 529 for me, a winning margin of 170 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Always great fun to get over the 500 point mark. So it was opponent to go first and they changed. Wow, could have got 32 points. Okay. And my rack, few, no missed bingo. I was waiting for Geo Loge to pop up. And well, I changed and I think that's reasonably comparable to playing a Loge, wrecking the rack, providing five useful floaters for opponent. And opponent plays Womp and what do I do? I play leeches, and there were th there were two other double doubles, Eschewel and late GCs, and then other bingos available. <coughs> wow, Miss Bingo, baronial through the R of leeches. Gosh. Okay. Well, fortunately for me, opponent missed that. Zori C nine. Yeah, well, stopping one square short of the double word square, but scoring 44 points, what do I do? I drop nine points and I actually prefer my play. There are S's and blanks out there. And sorry, even if I end up with the S's and the, or the blank and use that spot, it's making the board very volatile. And I think given, given my lead, I prefer the the volatility from Riz. Opponent plays Marvel. And now I have Dendron for 80 and Donard and Donut. Where are they? C7. Ah, oh, I don't think these plays are where I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, they're all across row C above the top of Albino. So my play was four fewer points in column one, but I'm denying opponent that spot. So opponent plays Oi, and I'm, this was a wretched rack. I really struggled here, but jibed is pretty handy. B6. Yeah, I think I would have played that if I'd seen it. E double I isn't terrible and the score is good. Instead, I play Midji for 14 fewer points. Keeping... I, E, yeah, so I think jibed would have been better. Opponent plays Pronto, and C8, Adji, that was my play, and I still lead by over 100. 52 for opponent, so, yeah, O11, O11, yeah, Faith, that was my play. Yeah, nothing obviously better. Wow. Just checking your opponent missed it. And he did tonally and atonally. Wow. Tonally playing in exactly the spot opponent played Tolly. Also playable making Jot. And atonally through the A of leeches. So opponent missed a bingo. And I nearly did because Grinders was the only one available. And that pretty much secured the win, I feel. Gave me a 140-point lead, which is really two bingos. An opponent struggling with vowels plays our. And I go with walk for 35. Yeah, nothing great. All of these plays leave four or five consonants. 14 for opponent. And I play Fisk for 26 to take out the, the Q danger. And you see, opponent was, was jolly close. If he'd simply had a Q instead of one of these tiles, then he may have had a choice of 100-point plays. Fantastic spot of Sinuate, the only bingo available. And now two tiles in the bag, and I still lead by over 100. So Quag and Quad both... Score the same. I think Quag leaves a better rack leave. My opponent plays quiet. I have debt. 
and opponent goes out with Eard, also had a Wren in a couple of spots. So what a game, absolutely amazing fun, board wide open, bingo lanes available until the end and a late bingo from opponent of Sinu H was not enough to, to close the gap. So absolutely super fun, many thanks to opponent for a good game, I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time and like and subscribe.